Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X3. We are gonna step right on up and go into Vault Catfish's stage. An interesting stage this is. Vault Catfish is obviously your electrical maverick of the game. Another boss I find infinitely easier with his weakness. And in between episodes, I got another sub-tank, um, the one from Blizzard Buffalo Sage that I initially passed. Um, I was right, it's fully possible to get it with just uh, the boots, my timing was just uh, terrible, so I was able to go back and get it between videos with no problem. Now we can go down this way here. There's a teleporter. I love this song. Uh, uh, nothing in elevator. This is kind of like the shaft earlier in the game, except instead of spiky balls, it's debris, which is far more difficult to avoid because I don't think there's any kind of pattern to it. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think there is. Yeah, I got a couple into the E-tank there. Sub-tank. Death Roosters! Now, this is obviously not Vault Catfish's stage. It's a special stage. Remember that mysterious maverick from before? Let's go ahead and... Oops! Ha! <laughs> My bad. Sue and I destroyed you years ago. I don't I kind of... Oh, whatever. This factory set to blow in a matter of minutes. Until then, I'll try and keep you busy. That's your plan? Blow up the factory again? All right, obviously, this is Vile. You remember Vile from the first Mega Man X. He kicked our butts in the opening and uh, ended up killing Zero. We are angry for this. Thankfully, the first part of this fight, relative no-brainer. Uh, he, again, if he stops his dash early or a little late, it's easy to take a random hit. But this first part, nothing too horribly difficult. There's air dash off the walls, turn and hit him. Nothing difficult. This is where the fight begins. And I forget what he's weak against, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it. So we're gonna go X-Buster. I do not horribly remember his pattern. I remember it not being too horribly difficult, though. He's got that fire pillar. This attack that's similar to a violin in X2. Oh, that was just me not hitting the button in time. Like a foolish fool. And that was the same thing, that was just me being stupid. Ah. Alright, I seem to have got him into a pretty good set here. Bam, son! What, what? Then he poofs. Now this is the fun part. We are on a timer. Let's do this. I wanted the one up, but okay. One charge shot and one medium shot will kill those wall guys, so remember that. Here, it's just a matter of hitting jump a whole bunch. Just get a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Slow down. Obviously, these things want to get me killed, and they're doing a pretty decent job. Come on, X. Oh, bam. Whew. 
Whew. Woohoo! All right, that's the, that's the vile stage out of the way. Now let's continue on with the Volt Catfish. This is probably going to seem downright tame by comparison. Ow, that was like a quarter of my life. Actually, a little more. Alrighty. I'm all pumped from that section. I'm like, let's do this. Might as well avail myself of that energy. And of course, if we had rid the platform too long, we'd be dead. But platforms are always like that these days. Bum, 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 bum. I know there's something up there. I don't remember what it is. I think it's a one-up or something. Uh, this is just downright docile after the vile level, I'll tell you. I think it's up here, yep. I want to just head up here. Damn it, I don't have Gravity Beetle's weapon. Or the arm upgrade, which we need for this. That goes to a, a heart tank for this stage. Need Gravity Beetle's weapon and the arm upgrade. So let's continue on. Need the arm upgrade for a lot of items in this game. Oh man, I'm feeling it. Bitter bite have got to be coming on. Oh, no. Really? Alright. I believe the second half of the stage here is a bit more difficult. That oh, robot riot armor that I can't use. I'm like, I know there's something up here, I just don't remember what. Be nice when we get through Blast Hornet stage so I can actually start using some of the armor. Jibney oh, Jibney Jones. Lots more stuff trying to kill me in this half here. Okay. I'll just dash up and. Okay, that worked real well. Okay, X. Wow, holy crap. That went real well. Just drop two thirds of my life in that like two second span. That's all right, cause the boss is here. Full catfish. I'll show off how he normally fights, since I know he's gonna kill me. So I uh, won't use his weakness. Show you kind of what he's about. He's big, relatively fast. Well, if all he's going to do is his sparks on the ground, this isn't going to be very intimidating. That dash was completely accidental. There we go. That's where he starts becoming a pain. That triad thunder. And then he also has a... Uh, he can also link up to the main uh, battery up on the top of the ceiling. Which we want to avoid. Which is why we're going to kill him. That's the awesome thing about the tornado fang there. You can actually send out three. You don't need to. But you can turn it into three. It's a little bit easier to keep them under control since you can have up to three on the screen. Oh my god, X, seriously, would you please stop d not d Okay, he keeps dashing when I don't want him to. Okay, yeah, no, that's okay. That was close. That's... That thunderbolt he was starting to do, that's exactly what I want to avoid. Shit! 
<sighs> that was that was close. That was close. He's invincible while he does this attack, which makes it twice as much of a pain than it already is. As you can see, you gotta be kind of careful with your tornado fang use, because a couple wrong sh shots and you won't have enough to kill him. Great, do I have to save in the middle of a frickin' boss fight? <laughs> That's why I say this is the hardest of the uh, original X games. Really, that... I've... It killed me while my invincibility frames were going. Okay, I can just turn around and shoot him in the face. There we go. But that last one killed me while my invincibility frames were up. Ridiculous. I was barely able to kill him with his weakness. Imagine without it, that whole fight. An excellent weapon, kind of offensive, kind of defensive. Alright, that's half the Mavericks down already. Whew. I'm already noticing these uh, videos are running a bit longer than the other X1s were. Of course, that one had a whole other stage in it, but that's not the point right now. Okay, um, Crush Crayfish is weak to, uh, Volt Catfish's weapon, so we'll probably be heading there next. Although I could head the Neon Tiger and get the arm power up and start go uh, item hunting. Uh, I'll decide on the way. I'll see you in the next episode, everybody.